Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video all about my top 10 must-haves for clothing, accessories, everything in that realm to bring to college. I've done a couple videos like this in the past, but it's been a couple years and now I'm graduated. So I feel like I have a little bit of a different perspective than I did when I first filmed those videos. Obviously, depending where you go to college and what you're involved in, what you need to bring is going to vary. This is just my experience and I know a lot of you from this channel found it through my Elon videos and you either go to Elon or you're looking at Elon so hopefully this is helpful and yeah we'll just jump right in okay, my first item was easily my most used throughout my four years at college and it is my Madewell transit tote I love this bag I like cannot emphasize enough how much I love this bag I purchased this in the beginning of my freshman year I might even have it in like a haul or a vlog somewhere but I got it off of Poshmark to save a little bit of money and stuff like that I think this was 110 on Poshmark but it retails for 180 this is the perfect bag it's great for school it's great for traveling I use it at work now it's just perfect it holds up so well I love the color I love everything made well I think it's really well made which is kind of in the name this is honestly one of the best investments I ever made because it is a little bit pricier but for a bag that you use every day it's held up so well my next essential is my lululemon leggings if you guys watch my vlogs this is not a surprise at all i literally lived in these for four years straight and they still held up really nice i think this is another example of something that's worth investing in i for the longest time thought lululemon leggings were overhyped i was a firm believer that my leggings from tj maxx were perfectly fine and then i finally like bit the bullet and got a pair and my life has changed. These leggings hold up so well. I would wear them multiple days in a row. They would just keep their shape. They kind of suck everything in. They're super flattering. Lululemon also provides custom hemming, which is really great for me if you're shorter like I am, um, because I normally get the 7 8 leggings and then have to get those hemmed just because I'm so short. So having stuff that fits and is high quality, I think is great. This definitely varies depending where you go to school and what you're studying, but I think most places don't really dress up for class and Elon was definitely that way so you could almost always catch me in leggings and a big t-shirt or whatever that may be for class so I think investing in something like this that's gonna hold up and keep its quality over time is really great to do the next thing I'm gonna show you guys I didn't actually have in college but I really wish I did and it is these bond touch bracelets they're actually sponsoring today's video and when they reached out to me I was super super excited to hear about these I've been talking about how excited I am about this sponsorship in my last couple of vlogs Essentially, it's a set of bracelets that are made for long distance relationships. If you guys have been subscribed to my channel, you'll know that I studied abroad in London. And at the time I was dating my boyfriend and the distance was so, so hard. And I really wish that I had something like this at that time. And I know studying abroad is such a common experience in college for a lot of people. So basically the premise is you have one bracelet for yourself and one for your significant other. So this is what the actual bracelet looks like. As you guys can see, it's very like slim and sleek. It just kind of like sits on your wrist, kind of like a Fitbit would or an Apple Watch. It's not like super chunky or I don't know, like annoying to look at. And they also have other bands online. When I was looking at their website, they had like a leather one. Um, so you can definitely like customize it a little bit. So the way it works is you have one bracelet, you give the other bracelet to your partner, whoever that may be, and you basically just set it up through your phone. It's super easy. There's an app you download and it's a really simple process. I'll leave a video down below that kind of explains how to set it up if you guys are interested. When you get into the app, you can customize like the color of the taps. You can look through the history of like how your tap patterns were and stuff like that. It's really, really cool. And I wish more than anything I had this when I was studying abroad in London. My boyfriend at the time didn't get to visit me, um, which is like totally fair. Flights are so expensive, but it would have been so comforting when I was just like having a hard day or even just like walking to class or had like a minute of free time or anything like that just to feel like some form of a touch from someone. It's just such a great concept and I feel like so many people in college are in long distance relationships whether that's studying abroad or your boyfriend or girlfriend was from high school and you guys went to college, stuff like that. And I think physical touch for me is like my highest love language. This would have been such a great way to kind of solve that issue. These bond bracelets literally make you feel connected to your partner even when there's distance. I think a lot of you found my channel through my study abroad videos and I get DMs about it and just how to deal with long distance in general and stuff like that. It's crazy to me how much technology is evolving and I think these bracelets are such a cool concept to have and use in a relationship. Um, so if you guys are interested, I'll have links down below. I think I'm going to send my other one to my best friend. So Johanna girl, 
check your mailbox it's common the next thing I'd recommend packing for college is just light kind of spring summery dresses I think stuff like this is so easy to throw on especially when you kind of want to not dress up for class but look a little bit nicer this is definitely still casual like I would wear this with Adidas sneakers and like a cardigan over it or something like that but you could also wear this to a day party you could wear it out on like a date if you had a nicer like dinner with someone it's super versatile but also comfortable and casual at the same time this specific dress is from PacSun. I just got it. It's on sale, so I'm not sure if it's in stock still, but if it is, I will leave it linked down below or like a similar dress to it from PacSun. As you guys know, I'm really trying to incorporate more color into my wardrobe. As you can see by like the blue here, the blue here, we're I think we're making leaps and bounds, honestly. Having items like this that are super versatile and can be dressed up or dressed down helps save space when you're packing, when you're moving, in your actual closet. It just makes your life so much easier. The next thing I'd recommend packing is a pair of gold hoops. If you guys watch my vlogs, this is definitely not a surprise, but I wore gold hoops every single night that I went out in college my senior year. I loved them. I don't know like what switched in my brain that I all of a sudden became an earrings person, but I would not go out if I didn't have hoops in. I wouldn't necessarily recommend investing in hoops in college just because you're probably going to lose a pair or two. I think I went through four or five my senior year, so maybe get a cheaper pair for this. Like don't splurge on this, splurge on leggings or a bag. These were the ones that made it out alive. They're from Claire's, I think. They were like four or five bucks. I'll try to leave a link down below. I also really like this pair. They're from Lulu's. They're a little bit smaller and thicker. I want to say these came in a three pack and they were super affordable and then I've been loving these actually these were featured in my last haul they're from Anya Hay they're a little bit nicer I don't know if I'd wear these out but like cheap hoops a bop for going out this next item was definitely one of my most worn items in college and it is this teddy bear coat from Shein I want to say I got this in November or December and literally wore it almost every single day it's not the cutest I will agree to that like it's kind of ugly but it's ugly cute I would always throw this on in the mornings before class with like leggings and a t-shirt and it was so comfortable just to sit in for class especially if you have early morning classes and it's cold out it's just like so snuggly and warm it's kind of cute kind of ugly you know like it's that weird in between like I said this one's from Shein so it's honestly not great quality like the seams are kind of ripping here because I've worn it so much you could definitely choose to invest in a nicer one like the IMG01 or like a similar type of teddy coat this is also really great if your school has outdoor parties I know Elon's really big on like day parties and stuff like that so in like the fall and early spring this was really great to wear out and because it is from Shein it was so cheap I honestly didn't really care if anything happened to it I don't think this was more than $30 you could definitely choose to invest in a nicer one and I might honestly this year just because this one is so beat up and gross but if you're like me and you just kind of wanted to test out the trend and see if you liked it I think Shein or any website like that is a really great place to find a teddy jacket like this and again it's so versatile I'd wear it to class I'd wear it out I just wear it around the house if I was cold I lived in this thing the next thing I'd recommend bringing to college is a comfortable bralette this one is the triangle bralette from Calvin Klein I love these bralettes i think i have four or five of them now you can find them at tj maxx they sell them at urban this for me is the perfect bra it gives me support but not too much it's not too uncomfortable but it's still kind of like shapes everything the way you want it to it prevents you from like completely nipping in class i think the thicker band makes it super comfortable and supportive still even though it's unlined and like a standard bralette i don't know i think if you're wearing a big t-shirt to class anyway this is the absolute way to go i could not imagine my life without these bralettes basically the next thing I'd recommend bringing to college with you is a good pair of black jeans. These are from American Eagle. I've talked about these a couple times on my channel now, so I don't want to ramble for too long, but I absolutely love these. I love American Eagle jeans specifically because I feel like they hold up really well over time. Like I really haven't had any issues with them fading or stretching, ripping, anything like that. And I love that they have so many sizes between like short, regular, and long lengths because that's something for me. Like if I don't get pants in a short size, I have to get them hemmed because they're so baggy. I think these are really great. They're super high-waisted and comfortable. I love wearing these out if I wanted to dress up for class and look a little bit nicer. They're still casual, but like put together. If I ever wore real pants in college, it was black jeans. So I think investing in a pair that fits really well and you feel comfortable and confident in is a really great thing to bring with you. The second to last thing I'd recommend packing for college is a really good pair of black booties. These are from ASOS. I got these at my spring semester. Of senior year because I had completely killed my last pair of booties again these are something that you can just wear 
so many different ways and are so versatile. I really love these specifically because the heel's pretty chunky, so they're comfortable to stand and walk in. It gives me a little bit of height, but nothing that I wouldn't be comfortable wearing to class or to like a business meeting or anything like that. Like this definitely varies between colleges, but at Elon, I would pretty much walk everywhere when I went out. I very rarely take Ubers to like bars or people's houses or anything like that. So having shoes that were comfortable to walk in that were still cute is definitely an essential for me. And even if you're not walking everywhere, you're probably going to be on your feet a lot in college. So I think having a really good pair of shoes that are comfortable, cute, can be, again, worn so many different ways is a really great thing to pack with you. And then last but not least, my last essential is this Elon crew neck, or really any crew neck with your school's name or like a town or whatever that may be. I absolutely love super oversized sweaters. This one's like a large or an extra large. I think I just got it from my bookstore. I'm sure your colleges all have them or some sort of like affiliated spirit wear. That's also part of the reason I love this is I love my school and I loved repping it. I would wear this all the time, especially on weekends when I was doing homework in the coffee shops. I'd just throw this on with leggings and like sit down, do my work. It's comfortable to wear to the library, to class. It still shows school spirit, but it's cozy, it's warm, it's comforting. College can be so overwhelming at times between like classes and work and social life and everything like that. It's so nice to have just a piece of clothing that's so comfortable and like cozy to you. I don't know if that makes sense or if that's just me. I don't think it is. Um, but I think having just like a cozy, comfortable sweatshirt is such an essential in college. So those are the top 10 clothing accessories that I use the most or would recommend the most for bringing to college. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again at Bond for sponsoring today's video. I will leave links to everything that I can find down below in the description box. I'll also leave a link to a playlist that has a ton of videos like this as far as what to pack for college, what to expect, all that good stuff. And yeah, I think that that is everything. So thank you guys for watching again and I will talk to you next time.